computers have come a long way since the early 2000s. The Apple Power Mac G4 Quicksilver I have here originally cost $4,695 in Australia back in 2001. Adjusted for inflation, that's roughly $6,860. The 20-inch cinema display, released back in 2004, was not cheap either, costing around 2,299 Australian dollars. This whole package would have originally cost you $6,995 well over a decade ago. I was lucky to come across this whole lot being sold for only $50 on Gumtree. That's roughly 0.71% of its original cost. So, the question is, can this iconic relic of the early 2000s still be useful today? Let's find out. At first glance, this machine still looks really modern 16 years after it was released. That's a real testament to Apple's great design. This particular model is a mid-level G4 machine with an 867MHz PowerPC G4 chip. The outer shell of the G4 is made from translucent plastic, the same kind used on the later model iMac G3s. The front of the machine has a 2x super drive hidden behind a small door. There is also a fairly powerful front-mounted speaker. The one I've got seems to have the speaker cone pushed in though. Around the back is a decent selection of I.O., including USB, Firewire, Ethernet, as well as DVI and VGA video outputs. Upgrading this machine is super easy. All you have to do is pull the latch on the side and the case opens up. The 20-inch cinema display this lot came with is definitely still very usable today. With a peak brightness of 250 nits and a contrast ratio of 400 to 1, you could still use this screen for light photo and video editing. So, what is this machine capable of? First of all, I thought I'd try and play some YouTube videos. Firefox couldn't actually load the videos and was quite sluggish overall. Using Safari, I was actually able to watch a video, although the frame rate was somewhat inconsistent, even in the lowest quality. Word processing worked absolutely fine. I would have been really concerned if it couldn't do this though. Next, I tried playing some HD video. It struggled with 720p 10 megabits a second footage. It might have something to do with the modern codec of the video, as this machine shouldn't really have trouble with video at this resolution. Final Cut Pro 4.5 worked fine from what I could tell. I couldn't seem to import the test footage I shot, but the program itself seems to run fine. So, can it record music? GarageBand 3 runs absolutely fine. It instantly recognised my USB MIDI keyboard and I tried recording a song. If you're a fan of Starbomb, you might recognise this one. It's crazy to think that this is a 16 year old computer. Apple really have created a timeless design that still looks great today. If it was easy, I would totally gut one of these and put modern components in it. However, it is apparently quite difficult. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe as I have lots of interesting videos coming in the near future. If it's not apparent from my voice, yes, I actually am suffering a cold at the moment, so I definitely sound a lot more nasally. I'll see you next time.